everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Michael. And we're from Kiki. Today, we're going to share with you the top five Korean skincare ingredients. Stick around to the end though, because we're going to show some products for each of these ingredients. Maybe you might find your next holy grail. And all of our information is brought to you by our picky expert, Yulia, who is a pharmacist from Indonesia. At skin.glossary if you're looking for her on Instagram. Number one, propolis. Propolis is essentially beehive glue. It's high enriched with flavonoids, phenolic acids, and terpenoids. It's traditionally used in medicine for its anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and antioxidant properties. Some major benefits for using propolis include antioxidants, which help decrease and fight off free radicals. It helps promote collagen synthesis, it decreases redness, and it prevents photoaging. Number two, snail mucin. So it may not sound so attractive since it is extracted from snail mollusks, but snail secretion actually has many benefits to help maybe overshadow the more undesirable parts, such as it's antimicrobial, increases skin regeneration, increases wound healing, and contains a lot of antioxidant properties. Wow. Yeah, that's very interesting. Number three, licorice extract. So but it, not only is it delicious, it's actually really great for your skin. So this K-beauty ingredient is a major help when it comes to hyperpigmentation and fading away some of those dark spots. Some other benefits include anti-melogenic, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial properties. Number four, green tea. So a staple for many countries in the form of a beverage, thanks to its very healing properties, but green tea is for much more than just drinking. Green tea in skincare is actually known as Camellia sinensis. And so you can look for that on your skincare labels. Uh, green tea is chock full of antioxidants. Uh, it's anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial. Also, in addition, it is anti-aging. Number five, rice extract. It's also known as Oriza sativa. It's one of the most produced and consumed grains in the world. Rice extract contains tocopherols and other skin-loving benefits, including anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, uh, antioxidant properties, and finally brightening. It actually can help inhibit the production of tyrosinase, which causes some of that pigmentation on our skin. You can find rice extract in many ingredient forms, such as rice extract itself, but also rice water and rice bran oil. Okay, now time for Piggy's product picks. We're gonna show you some of the most popular products from our Piggy app that include some of these top five Korean skincare ingredients. So to start, We'll start with propolis. And one of the really popular products on Picky right now is called the Propolis Light Ampule, Full Fit Propolis Light Ampule from Classer X. So actually this is an unopened box. We're gonna open it right now. Let's see. Okay, nice. Hmm. So this is what the product looks like. Ta-da! It contains 83.25% black propolis. And it contains ingredients that are really good for the skin, um, for dry skin, like glycerin and sodium hyaluronate, and for sensitive skin, panthenol. So actually, doing the honors. Honors of opening. Oh. I don't think you need too much though. Don't, oh yeah, I probably got too don't much. Don't be like Brian and put too Maybe much. Like, put some back. Okay. Let's put like a drop. One eternity later. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to try some too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try some. Here. Okay, so you see? That's bee glue. 
Knee high blue. Ooh. That's nice. nice. Let's pull out our picky app and see what our user has to say. I'm gonna read a review from our Super Picky Squad member, Eliza Sunny. So Eliza says that she loves this ampule. It's the most concentrated ampule she's ever seen in the market. She likes that it has a minimal NC list of only 11 ingredients, including humectants moisturizer for smoother application. For texture, she says it's vicious, runny and spreadable, but a bit tacky. For application, it's a bit sticky when you apply, but after a couple minutes, the stickiness vanishes. It feels, you may feel a film sensation when it dries. Oh yeah, I see what you mean, Eliza, I feel it. It's helpful for people with combination to dry skin, and she said it helped with pimples and didn't irritate her eczema. On the downside, it's not as hydrating as the manufacturer claims. And if you're allergic to bee products or hate film sensations, maybe stay away from this product. So that's our review from Eliza Sunny. She gave it a five stars overall. Next up is snail mucin, which personally I really like. Um, so for this ingredient, we did COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And I can personally attest to this because I actually, this is mine, I use this. So it's kind of open. No <laughs> unboxing for this one, sorry. <laughs> uh, so this contains 96.3% of snail secretion filtrate, which helps the skin lose less moisture. And it's great for all skin types because it can, contains really soothing ingredients like allantoin and panthenol and sodium hyaluronate. It can help address anti-aging concerns or maybe just soothing concerns. Uh, personally, I really like it because it feels very nice on my skin, uh, but we're gonna see maybe what one of our picky squad members has to say. So we're gonna read a review from I Am Van, and she said, actually, here, do you wanna try it on first? And then yes. you can get the experience as I explain it. Mm. So she said it, the texture is a bit slimy, You'll see as you rub it around, it is a bit slimy and vicious, but surprisingly lightweight. The price point, she says, is really affordable and a little of this really does go a long way. It absorbs quickly and leaves no stickiness on the skin. She says it also helps other serums actually soak in, uh, which is true because I use this before my other serums, so you think alike. Uh, as for soothing, she says it helps with irritated skin and healing skin and healing scars after consistent use. Um, on the downside, it's not a heavy moisturizing product, but it's still quite moisturizing. Also, it didn't really help too much with like those angry red pimples. So that was a nice review. And what do you have to say about the product? What's your first impression of it? I, I agree. I feel like I could definitely incorporate this into my routine. It's, it feels nice and it seems like it, it does a great job. So next is AC Well Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. This is another one of my products that I personally use. So it contains really good ingredients like licorice root extract, green tea, and tosopherol, but also some citric acid. So just be careful if you have sensitive skin and you might be sensitive to that. Uh, it helps address brightening, anti-aging, soothing, and hyperpigmentation. And we're gonna look at a review from Super Picky Squad member, uh, Sapphire Roses. So she's been using this for a month and she said now it's a, like, a helpful addition to her skincare routine. I can attest, I use this and I think it, I noticed some brightening as well. She said it's very evident that it would calm her skin. The reducing redness wasn't immediate, but it was definitely soothing. Uh, she even uses this as a cleansing toner some mornings. Actually, I do too. <laughs> Meaning she uses it for both cleansing and toner steps. So just washing and then toner. Um, on the downside, she says it doesn't eliminate as much redness as she would have expected from an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant rich toner like this. Um, and it can take a little bit to notice the brightening effect. So just, I guess, be patient with this product. And I can attest to all of that because I personally really like this toner. Look, it's very gentle. There's a bubble, you see that? Oh, it's oh, gone. It bubbles. Oh no. It kind of like, does it have like soap qualities? Is it also a cleansing type of, don't waste my product. <laughs> oh no. Did you try it though? I did, I did. What did you think? It, it can also, cause it's a little bit more than a toner where it's also a cleansing type of thing. So it has, so it's suitable for sensitive skin types, but like we said, be careful with citric acid. Okay, next we have the Bi Wish Trend Green Tea and Enzyme Powder Wash. Let's open it up. And we have the bottle. Ta-da! Okay, let's see. 
Here's the powder. I don't know what, what are the instructions. Say? No, you're supposed to mix it with water. Yeah, mix it, mix it to make foam. Okay, let's make foam. It's kind of making foam, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah it is. If you guys can see, or guys and gals can see. Oh God, I feel like I could actually drink this though. It smells like. Oh yeah. That's dangerous. I, I feel like I want to drink it too. It smells really good. Oh, it smells like matcha. And it's starting to make foam. You're right. So. This product is a powder that needs to be mixed with water to foam up and cleanse. It contains coconut, actually, derived from surfactants, baking powder, and lots and lots of antioxidant-rich green tea. It can help with brightening and hyperpigmentation skin concerns. We have a review from Picky Squad member L. Rocks. She says that this powder cleanser is a moist, low pH cleanser and refreshing scrub. It can help gently melt away blackheads, impurities, and dead skin cells for brighter and smoother skin. The main function is an everyday mild cleanser, but she says it can also help with acne thanks to its ingredients. The ingredients work together to eliminate oil, sebum, and impurities trapped in the skin. She recommends for a sensitive acne prone skin and using it two to three times a week if you have very sensitive skin. For the texture, she said it's powder with fine grains and melt into a foam, but with the remaining grains as a scrub. For the scent, it smells like green tea. We, we saw that, of course. And her experience after one month is practical to carry since it won't spill liquid everywhere, and her skin is smoother without over exfoliating. She recommends this product if you're looking for an exfoliating product that doesn't match the chemical one and the physical scrubs are too harsh for your skin. So, Next up is rice extract, and we're gonna look at I'm From's Rice Serum. So personally, I was really interested in this one, so I'm gonna unbox it. Oh, okay. It's not, I'm not gonna preserve the box. I'm not gonna be as gentle as Michael was. I'm just gonna rip it open. I got this. Oh. So actually, this one has special rice germ fermentation grown in Yeoju, which is in South Korea. It has really good ingredients like niacinamide, uh, Alatoin, glycerin, panthenol, hyaluronic acid, and more. It can address brightening and soothing concerns. We're gonna look at a review from Super Picky Squad member, Skincare in Hawaii. Or he said the texture is light and creamy uh, and absorbs quickly into the skin, leaving a nice protected feel. Uh, for effects, he said if you're looking for brightening effects alone, maybe this isn't the most effective serum, but it's very hydrating and moisturizing. Um, he said it helps lock in all the moisture that his skin craves. And so his final conclusion is that the serum is a hydration bomb. Uh, recommends definitely for those that want a protective moisturizing uh, layer, which I can kind of feel with it. It actually feels very nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. So if you saw any products that you like and want more details on, you can check it out on the Fiki app where all the details, ingredients, and discussions are going on. Um, if there's any ingredients that we missed that you think that we should talk about, Leave a comment down below and we will definitely look at them. Also let us know in the comments below if you have an idea for our next video. We're always reading the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this or also not like this. We have a whole bunch of different kinds of videos. Dermatologist expert content, funny videos, everything in between. So thank you again for watching. Bye! See you in the next video. Bye! How many skins do you have? I know there's like that seven skins method. I don't have too many actually. I have toner. It depends. If it's nighttime, toner. Um, I have a ant pool. This that I use. I put on a light moisturizer, retinol, and then a heavy moisturizer. Oh, that is seven. No, it's six. Oh wow, I do that use a lot. Of I didn't think it was. Oh. Okay. How many do you use? <laughs> I got my one my one skin. <laughs>